that's what the EEG sounds like. Originally the idea was to have like a play button, but then uh, again, just uh, so anyway, when, when you have uh, auto volume and auto duration, the duration is pretty simple. It's just uh, will adjust it based on what's uh, currently the window size. So if you have a longer window size, uh, the sounds uh, will be longer as well. The whole file is actually yeah, there's a bit of a buggy and laggy. Yeah, it's when I when you actually scroll through the file, it becomes a bit less uh, responsive. Okay, when you load the page, it uh, defaults to channel seven. I think channel. One of those uh, last channels was a bit more, yeah, more annoying or more festive, depends how you look at it. The auto volume, yeah, let's go back to seven. So if you select auto volume, it will be quieter when there is no seizure and start uh, being louder when the seizure comes through. So this is the middle of the seizure, and this is the end of the seizure, so it becomes, I don't know if you can still hear anything, but um, the auto volume will adjust itself to amplitude. It's actually meant to be grayed out, so yeah, it's all uh, prototyped like that. When you turn it off, it uh, just maintains uh, the volume to be roughly the same throughout the recording. So it doesn't matter if it's seizure or after seizure. So obviously auto volume is kind of better. And again, as I said, auto duration adjusts to the current window size. So we have a window size of 10 seconds. The sound is uh, shorter. You make the window size 50 or something. The notes will be longer but then it becomes a bit laggy because um, there's actually like too much data is being loaded here and this is all um, it's mostly happening in JavaScript there is a, a back end to it as well and next time we actually modify this tool we will uh, push things as much as possible to the front end.